Hey you, it's Xavier Phillips, your practitioner of hypnosis and avid gamer Monkeys Play Games. And in today's video, well first of all, I just want to thank you for being here. And I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to change your life and being serious about it. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about how to change negative people's attitude towards you. You know, so if somebody is around you and how to deal with this person. You know, for instance, if you got to be around a coworker or somebody in the classroom or, you know what I'm saying, a sibling, like a little brother or something, and they're being negative, how do you deal with this person? Well, the first thing you want to do is remain conscious and remain calm. Now, if you let this person get you angry, then you're vibrating on the same frequency as this person. And there's no way that you can change this person's frequency if you're vibrating on their frequency with them. So what you do is, let's say this person is mad, okay? And this person is mad. It, this could work for anything. Mad, sad, anxious, you know, curious, whatever. Now, you're happy and you're calm. And this person is mad and hysterical and yelling. What you want to do is analyze the situation. So you, you're seeing, what is this person mad about? And you, first of all, remain calm. Second, analyze the situation. See what this person is mad about. And three, you want to consciously alter this person's mood. So what I mean by consciously alter this person's mood is, you know, go up to them, give them a hug, you know, and be like, hey, I know you, just don't, don't even talk about the negative, you know what I'm saying, mood that they're feeling, just be like, man, you're awesome, you know that? Or give them a compliment, say, hey, man, you're great at shooting basketball goals, or, you know, you made some really great soup last night, or say a joke to make them laugh, you know? Be like, I don't know, hey, there's fatter people out there or something. But just basically, you want to say something positive. You know, I do this all the time with people in my family, you know. And you can also relate to them. Relate to them and say, hey, I know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? I had some people who felt the same way. You don't have to, you don't have to necessarily feel that way. But you can relate to them and say, hey, I know how you feel. I've had some people feel the same exact way. And this is what we found out. You could be like, hey, I know how you feel being mad. You know, there, was, there were times I was mad. This is what I found out. We can consciously change how we feel. And it's all right. Come, give me a hug. And you give that person a hug. And you'll be surprised when they try to make you mad what the difference will happen when you make them happy. Because not only will you keep your happiness and you keep your calm, but this person will also be happy now. And they will have no idea of what you just did. You know, a lot of people don't understand that they can control their emotions and they're just emotional beings. Well, you can control your emotions. You can. You just have to be fully conscious to do this. You know, so you could be subconsciously emotional and consciously unaware, you know. So that way you want to be conscious of your emotions. That way you can manipulate other people's emotions for good, you know. So if you're at work and your boss is yelling at you and they're like, man, you suck, blah, 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 you you not doing well, I'm going to write you up. You're like, you know what, you're right. You're right, boss. You know, I, I felt the same way too. You know, I felt that I wasn't doing as great, you know, and I understand that not everybody can be the greatest, but this is also what I found out. And then you just relate to him. And then that person won't even know what's happening because you're actually agreeing with that person and putting that person in the yes room. So when that person is in the yes room and they're like, what, well, he's agreeing with me? You can't attack a person who agrees with you. You know, so somebody say you're ugly, be like, you're right, man. I am ugly. Thanks for letting me know that. You're a beautiful person. You know, and then boom. Then they're, they're all happy and stuff and they don't even know what just happened. So guys, I challenge you today. Even if not, it doesn't have to be somebody angry or whatnot. They can be sad, you know. I challenge you to change that person's mood, you know, experiment with this. 
for the next 30 days and, and experiment with these people and see what you can do, see what you can get done. You know, see see if you're conscious, even just practice being conscious of your mood. Say, what what mood am I in right now? You know, am I sad? Am I angry? Am I anxious? You know, do, do I understand what emotion I am or am I just emotional in general, you know, and you're just doing some random stuff and you don't, you're just going up the up and down an emotional roller coaster and you don't even, you know, have no way of controlling it or you think you don't have a way of controlling it. So quote of the day is, once you figure out who you are and what you love about yourself, I think it all kinds of falls into place. So once you figure out who you are and what you love about yourself, I think it all kinds of falls into place. So this is a great quote. And to make it better is, once you discover yourself, your true self, which is, you know, not what you show out to the world, not your outer shell. Because we, most of the time when we have conversations, we have a lot of outer conversations. Like, oh, how's the weather? What, what time of the day? Oh, I like your shoes. But truth is, you know, we want deeper conversations, you know, and that's what your true self is. Is A great example is I love talking to people. You know, I love reaching out to people and helping people. And most people really could care less. You know, they would rather care talk about money or talk about sports and football when I really don't want to, you know, or I choose not to. And that's that's basically why I feel about this quote is that, you know, once you once you actually get on to the level where you communicate spiritually and you communicate subconsciously to people, you know, you speak sub, to their subconscious mind directly and you bypass that conscious mind, then that's when the true magic happens is because you're actually speaking to the real person and not what they put on for the world to see. So other than that, guys, check out the Hypnosis page, Hypnosis Recordings, Subliminal Recordings, Mastermind Recordings, Change Minds to Change Lives.com. Also, check out the stream, Twitch.tv, Monkeys Play Games, and be energetic, passionate, and determined today. And leave some love. Comment below. Let me know what you guys want to hear about, my thoughts and ideas or whatever about life, and I'll be sure to put up a video for you.